So we have some lions to shoot today. We got rid of one of the uh, multi mouths, so less rare female lions that we need to uh, get for you know the entire trophy lodge. But I think I still want to get two more and a male if we can help it. So lots of stuff to go after, and if we can get a bigger diamond as well, that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, how's everybody's Monday going? I see that question flying by. When do rabbits come out on Hirsch? It should be tomorrow. I'm pretty sure they said November 10th, so that'll be pretty good. Unfortunately, as far as uh, content on them, if that is the case and they don't come out till tomorrow, then I am going to be a day late on content for them because I've got my uh, real life video coming out tomorrow. What's up, mistress? Bottom boy's in here. 300 people in like 10 seconds. It's the home of the big males. It's just the way it goes. I hope he charges us. I need to shoot these skate buffalo and get respawns over here so we can have something new when we're going down this way. What's up, Hunter, man? Came to say hi, but now I gotta get back to school. You're good, man. I appreciate you. Why not Twitch? I stream on Twitch on Wednesdays and Fridays, so I try to, you know, do content in both places. You never know, um, just from like a content creator's perspective, you never know if one or the other may just decide to die. YouTube or Twitch could just die, so it's good to have things going in both areas from uh, that side of things. Pop reset on her? That's a good question. Uh, in theory, they shouldn't need one because it's just a new species, but it depends on what else is in that update, I guess. I don't recall that guy. Actually, there's a bunch here. Just for fun. We'll get him. That can be... Future response. That guy is none the wiser. So we'll get him too. A little bit confusion. I thought that was the line. But he's gonna die. And... Hmm. These guys just chilling around here. Anyway, uh, Carson, thanks for the super chat, man. Hope you're having a great day. I am, man. I got to go hunting this morning. I didn't see any deer, but, uh, you know, it's always good to get out. Hope you're having a good day as well. I want to sit around here. Maybe we'll just walk down. Because we did the video on, geez, Saturday? I don't know what day we came here, but basically <laughs> came down this way and then two more lions showed up. So I don't want to spook them if that's going to happen again. Uh, Wheeler, thanks for the super chat as well. I'm a huge fan. Do you remember me? I cannot forget that name, man. I do remember you. Hey, Porter. Uh, can we talk about why there aren't squirrels in this game? I know there are many squirrels where I went hunting this morning. They should add squirrels. I think, you know, an animal that interacts with trees would be quite interesting. I would be curious to see how they even, uh, program that, because... There are some hitbox issues, I think, with uh, with trees. If Psycho gets in here, we'll maybe ask him about it. Hello? Uh. Definitely had another lion just make a sound. I don't know if there's one down here in the reeds, maybe? That could be. Beagle called me a zero. I'm out here, you know, talking about him. Saying how much he could help us with this conversation, he just calls me a zero. What a guy. Gonna have to ban him. It was fun while it lasted. Uh, Everyday Vlogs, thanks for the super chat, man. Great videos, well thank you, dude. I appreciate that. My track's still off. I went and shot a bunch of scrub hairs before this stream. And they are kinda tough to see, so I turn off tracks so I can find them. A little bit easier. Where the heck was that other lion at? I hate, like, letting one go when we're here, but I got no clue. Hey, Psycho. So, uh, I've attempted to ask you this before, but we were just talking about it with, um, squirrels and stuff. Would they be able to, like, make it to where squirrels could climb a tree if the tree doesn't have a hitbox? Does that make sense? Or would there be issues with that? Because I always figured that would cause issues. I figure you might know better than I would. Walk with my phone in my pocket and ban the entire chat. I hate when that happens, man. You know, sometimes 
Just goes south. Hey, Billy. Uh, landed with the super chat. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate the support. Where was that beefalo? Must have been right there. And no sign of the lion, so we'll come back here. I'm sure we'll be back anyway. Question about hitboxes? Hopefully that's, um... Hopefully that's just latency and you heard my question. I was gonna change the latency, but kinda figured if it ain't broke. Big Gemsbuck? I think it was just a three, wasn't it? I'm not too worried about Gemsbuck either way. Like I said, we'll come back here, so... I think it's ahead of us here. Um, anyway, if there is a big one, we'll see it. Where are you at? No tracks. Usually you can see them if they're down there in the brush. I don't... I don't know. We can go over through here and see if we can find the tracks. I'm curious. I would think that they could extend the hitbox upwards or a few options for it, depending on how hitboxes are implemented. I don't think it would be too difficult. Okay. Because I always thought that might be like a major obstacle. But if it's not that big a deal, then maybe we could actually see that being a thing. It may adversely affect how things can be shoosted. I see. Well, I'm sure that's something they could work out, but I hear it again. Good to know, G. We'll get right on that. Sounds like it's just hanging around right here, barking at us. Still not a single lion track to inform us. Walks on G-Man's spine. There you go. Just squish him a little bit. Is the game worth money? I think it is. I don't know a lot of people that have played this game and haven't gotten their money's worth. Like, the entire game plus DLCs is... A lot of times it's on sale on Steam, but... Maybe like 60 or 70 bucks when you factor in everything. And... For myself, anyway, at a... 3,569 hours, I'd say I've gotten my my money's worth easily. Why do the lion's manes not show properly in-game? It's got to be a graphical glitch. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. I really hope that reached into something because otherwise might not find that. We'll get some beefalo respawns though. Ow. Nope, 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 nope. No touch. Uh. What did I miss there? Ooh. Just smacking my mic with my headset, don't mind me. Uh, Carson, thank you again, man. Best way to make money in this game? I would say goose hunting. I've got a goose guide. <laughs> Didn't even hit him well. If you want to check that out, I made it like... a couple of months back. <laughs> I cannot hit anything good. That's also extremely loud. There we go. No more shots than necessary. I'm gonna turn that down in my head. Maybe offer squirrels to run up if the colliders aren't mesh colliders? I don't know what a mesh collider nah. is, but yeah, I could see there being like issues with it like looking correct and stuff if the uh, I guess colliders and hitboxes are somewhat Related, like if they aren't, if they don't match what's graphically displayed, maybe. Not really sure what we're talking about there. Uh, Landon, thank you uh, as well. Best tip to get a diamond moose, mule deer, or elk. Uh, moose and mule deer both are a little bit uh, messed up at the moment, so I'd probably wait on them. But for elk, I, I don't know if you want Roosevelt or Rocky Mountain, or if it just doesn't matter. But if you can go for Rocky Mountain elk, they're pretty common on Silver Ridge Peaks. You can you can find elk pretty all over and you see a lot of fives. I would just shoot pretty much every male you see, really for any of those species. Just shoot all your males and try to get respawns, but Rocky Mountain Elk, I'd say, is probably the easiest, at least right now, of those. Gotta be lying down in there if that warthog's taken off. Mesh colliders adhere to the form of the model. 
So I think it's kind of what I was talking about. This is a struggle when there's severe latency like YouTube to try to have this conversation, but I appreciate the input because I truly did not understand any of it. Um, it's got to be like hidden down in there. Try this. Okay, I got you, Psycho. It's making sense now. Well, basically, squirrels seem a lot more doable than I thought, but there could definitely be some roadblocks. There you are. That worked pretty well. Other than the failed heart shot, but must have been double lung. The least wait for a Bighorn Diamond should be uh, 150 ish? 152? I can't remember. I used to know. Maybe it's like high 140s even. Uh, Guard, thanks for the super chat, man. Been a while. This is Police Laz, by the way. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Recognize the profile picture. Good to see you again, dude. How rare is an albino lion? Uh, pretty rare. I know of quite a lot of people that have been grinding for much more than a week and haven't gotten one. I got one. I never was grinding for it, but I got one in multiplayer, so... Actually, I think I killed an albino female in single player, but... Uh, yeah, my... I only really recently started doing any kind of lion grinding, so my perspective on it isn't exactly correct. What scope do I use? I go with the Argus. I just like the extra zoom. I like to be able to uh, really see like what I'm aiming for as far as uh, going for heart shots or whatever. In that case, shot a little bit over the heart. Let's do this little leg because I kind of missed that in the video. Haven't watched you in so long. Well, welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're enjoying yourself. This one a lot of times is like on the run shots and stuff, so we'll have to see how this goes. What's up, Anna? Make a guide for Silver Ridge? I do have a... It was basically uh. like a quick guide is what I called it. I tried to make it like... I think it was less than 10 minutes, or maybe it is 10 minutes, but it was for the release day of Silver Ridge Peak, so it was like pretty quick. Watch the guide and know what uh, the basics are to head out and enjoy that map, but I do have that out there. Uh. Uh, Aiden and Landon both, thank you guys so much for the super chat, I appreciate you. Love your videos and love the stream, that's good to hear, man. Glad you're enjoying it. And, uh, thank you so much for your channel. Wait, thank you so much, your channel is amazing and you're so helpful to your fans. I mean, I try to, uh, you know, answer all the questions I can and stuff. I appreciate that. Did I miss one? I did, Carson was in there as well. Thank you, dude. Where do you hunt in real life? I hunt, uh, pretty much at the moment I'm just hunting, uh, here in PA, but... I am hoping to expand my hunting grounds here maybe as early as next spring for turkey. We'll see what happens. You gotta talk to some people there. Uh, largest whitetail score? The one I killed last year we scored it. Uh, I always get my net and gross confused. The one before deductions was 110 after is 104. I think it was 104. My biggest before that was 103 and it was bigger, and I'm pretty sure it was barely bigger. It was less than an inch and a half bigger. <laughs> Jesus, talk of business out here. I wouldn't cross him. Can you do more Hunting Sim 2, please? Um, I might get back to that. The thing is, like, the way that, um, the way that content goes at the moment, I'm trying to do a classic video a week. I, I haven't done one in at least a week, but that was because we did, like, extra werewolf content. Um, then there's an Alaskan Adventures video, and then I stream two days a week, and before I know it, I'm, like, out of days to make the Call of the Wild content I want to do. So, I might get back to it on days where maybe I'm not feeling Call of the Wild as much, or something to that effect, but... Like, I, I want to bow hunt in that game. It seems like it could actually be kind of fun, but we'll just have to see if I can find time for that. Are we at the end of this lake already? Huh. I guess I usually see more stuff and it slows me down. Well. 
There's a lion somewhere. You're invisible today. It's usually not this difficult to find. I don't know what's going on. What's the problem with Mule Deer? It seems like they still are not uh, spawning correctly for diamonds. Like, there's just... It's too rare. It's possible, as far as I know. But you're seeing very few people post Diamond Mule Deer. And, you know, Silver Ridge Peaks is one of the most hunted maps, so... I just... I'm pretty confident in saying that they're not quite spawning correctly. Oh my goodness, gee. Shot my first deer in real life? Congrats, man. Can tell you right now, that is one you're never gonna forget. You know what I'm gonna forget, though? Gonna forget about this lion's existence, because straight disappeared. We might just smoke one of these gems buck for the fact that we came all the way over here. That four is kind of decent. Because there's, yeah, there's no sign of any lions. I don't know where that one that was... Wait. I have a rough idea of where it is because now all the gems buck are spooked. It's got to be over in that area. So, maybe... Maybe we just kind of stay up here where we can see? It had to have fled over there. Do you do trail cams or so how many? Um, we do run trail cams. My brother is the one that kind of handles all that stuff. Like, he'll ask me where I want to put them, but he usually puts the cameras out and checks them and changes the cards and everything. I think we have probably about 10. I honestly don't even know exactly. Where is it? Maybe this is a case of looking for tracks again. Uh, I am getting called a wild today. Any beginner tips? I would just recommend, um, you know, going around and trying to shoot anything you see. Hunting your water as a general rule. Um, water tends to be kind of just where most animals hang out. You'll notice during this stream that my big thing is I'm just going to be going from lake to lake, essentially, so would recommend doing the same. What's up, Apnea? Killed a nine point on Halloween. Halloween is one of those days that uh, it's kind of just like gotta be out kind of days. Same as November 1st, except this year it was on a Sunday, so like if you're like me in a state uh, that does not allow Sunday hunting, had to miss that one. November 7th is another one that tends to be pretty well known. Um, was the 7th Saturday? Yes. Had a pretty good sit on the 7th. Missed 150 inch, then the next day I got a 10 point. Sounds like you made up for it pretty well then. Just got the new Xbox console. Oh, nice. I'm actually curious how that goes. Do I read comments? I try my best to read as many as I can. Um, I'm also still getting over a little bit of a cold, so I'm... Uh, muting to cough and stuff and reading a little more slowly than I normally do, but I'm trying. G's going to bed. He's had enough. Enough of the nonsense. What boat do you use in real life? I've got an Obsession Evolution 7. Um, I really like it. It has impressed me quite a lot. Got another lion track, by the way, that will probably... At the very least, go and look for a disturbed veg on. Glad we got the one, though. And somehow, two managed to just stay out of sight there. They're 600 pound animals. Bottom boy is, uh. being exposed to the insanity. What's up, Marcus? Doing good, man. How about you? Alright. Loin tracks. Walking around here. Oh, I see him. He didn't get very far. It's a seven, so... we make gold if we can get a good shot. It's fairly useful that he is that close. We can kind of get ourselves a, a better angle. And the only thing we got to worry about is our breath, so... 
We'll sit still for a second. That works unbelievably well. He dropped. Got the best videos? Keep it going. I will definitely do my best, man. I appreciate you. Best community on YouTube by far. I'm going to just say that real quick. I mean, I can't say I disagree with you, man. I love this uh, little community that's formed around this like entire... I, I was going to say game, but even with the classic side of it. So, just the, the couple of hunting games. Right in the heart. I will be 100% honest and say I didn't mean to do that. I was just going for a long shot. Okay. We'll check here. This place has been unbelievably inconsistent, so should be fun. We'll either see nothing or probably two or three. Ooh, a five female and a four Gimsbuck. Get that five, man. Have you ever hunted moose? I guess you're asking about uh, real life. I have not, but that's something I'd like to do someday. I don't know if I want to bow hunt them. I think I'd like to, but maybe not as like my first experience. Maybe I'd try to get a couple and shoot one with a gun first to really see what it's like. Because I know they are just tanks. Don't hear warning calls or nothing. Oh yeah, I do. A lot of times it's like right in this little like brushy area and then there's a spot right by that tripod but that one tends to be in the open so that sound I think is a spooked lion I don't think we're calling it in a lot of times they just stand around I mean it might run to where we can see I just don't think hitting the collar is going to help us, so, uh... I suppose... We'll run over there and take a look again. How old are you? I am 23. Getting more and more used to saying that. Just messed up a diamond cutie. It happens, dude. They're, uh, not incredibly rare. If you hunt for hunger a lot, I think you'll find more. Get yourself some revenge on that. Just keep at it. Diamond weight for elk? Uh, Rocky Mountain is somewhere in the <laughs> area of, like, 460 kg. Roosevelt would be 475, just about. Uh, 75 nobody thanks for the super chat got my first diamond on PC yesterday at Cape Buffalo not bad man pretty cool first um I might have seen that then in the discord I saw a bunch of diamond Cape Buffalo posted recently you gonna tell me this lion's gonna hide from us too this is the strangest like I never have these issues I don't know they got some kind of fancy new camouflage that's tricking me I guess Alright, well, like I said, about a different place. We'll be back. Maybe they'll drink more out in the open on that occasion. I'm a boomer. I'm officially old. And that makes me a boomer. Yes. Okay. Didn't see one immediately. I've had them drinking, like, over in this brush lately. Sometimes right by the blind. We'll just have to look again. Just had a troll black buck. Yeah, those are a lot more common uh, since they... I think it was since they went to the new scoring system. I think they might have made them maybe like 0.2 or 0.32 high of a requirement for diamond. But, I don't know. Diamond black buck for so long <laughs> were just the easiest thing to find. They were everywhere. I don't mind them being rare now because it actually means something to get one. Hi. That didn't go quite to plan. What the heck? 
Nice little jackal drive, I guess. Anyway. Um, Snakehead, thanks for the super chat, dude. Biggest rifle you have, if you don't mind me asking. I mean, as far as what I own? Just my, uh, 7 out 8. Where did... I guess that one ran a little further. We got Trevor with the super chat as well. Been watching your vids for a while, and I uh, love your stuff. Keep it going. I would definitely do my best, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the super chat and Danger Mouse as well. Kyle is a beast today. <laughs> Always, man. Top mod squad around. But, uh, it's always nice to see you guys, um, like commenting and I guess I'll say complimenting the moderators because it can be a thankless position, I think. Some huge males today. Level fives out here. I think they're far enough apart we can just get both pretty easily. We'll see. What's up, McLovin? Long time no see. Killed two level four diamond geese in the same flock. As rare as it is for the level fours to make it, that's actually pretty cool, man. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the shot opportunity. Got my first red deer diamond yesterday. There you go. I was just thinking, I want to get another diamond red for my trophy lodge. I want to get rid of that one that we killed on stream that just has the two different antlers. Do we miss lungs? Not that time. Kind of a hard shot to miss the heart to begin with. Did fine on that one. Give mods a raise. We'll have to get more of the... What was it called? Was it just mod fund? I can't remember what it was being called on Twitch. Um, Ridge Thomas, thanks for the super chat, man. Appreciate the support. Out of quarantine and back at work. Good deal. The mods are like eagles. I kind of like that. Got an albino bison in Silver Ridge Peaks. I really like the albino bison. I got a bunch of females for a long time. I could never get a male and then... I'm going to say within the first week or two of Silver Ridge Peaks, we got a level 4 albino male. They just look really cool. I don't know what I missed that Mistress is doing, but I'm sure she's killing it. Shots you high. Hit it right in the nose. Ideal shot placement there. Let's... This spot never works. I need to move this tent is the issue. There you go, Kyla. The ugliest uh. male? Wait, what about the ugliest male? I'm missing something there, man. Uh, Abnia, thanks for the super chat, dude. Here you go, get them big males. Ah, I've been waiting on that. It was just, uh, you know, trolling with all these level fives. Now we're gonna kill the big males. If this is a nine, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I can't even spot it. Okay. Not, uh, not that crazy just yet, but we'll get there. I think it's probably ideal that we at least spotted one there. Because we can go and shoot it, we'll have to run around, and then we can look back this way. I know there's at least, like, that second zone, so we can probably spot that, too. We'll go slow, in case he notices us running. My friend shot a springbuck in real life at 450 meters. I'd like to shoot a springbuck someday. I think that would be a pretty cool one to, like, go for a hunt for. Definitely did not drop him, but I can't see that being anything but a long shot. So we'll go around, and somewhere... The zone's not visible. It's right about there, though. There's another zone we gotta turn back and look for. Hope you get a big, big diamond. I'm more, uh, hoping for rares, but diamonds would be good. We got ourselves the diamond jackal. That was at this lake. Um, was that last week? 
Did we stream on Sunday last week? Or was that two weeks ago? It must have been last week. Feels like forever ago. Like, my whole... It's because I'm, like, hunting way more than I ever have, like, sitting out all day, several days in archery season. I usually just pick one or two days and do it. But that feels like so, so long ago. Uh, Lemon Rose, thanks for the super chat. I appreciate you. You missed the start of the stream? Not too much interesting happened. Just, um, the usual bunch of average size stuff. What gun are you using? I'm running with the 300 for the Lions, so it's a part of the Yukon Valley DLC. It's just for big game like Lions, Cape Buffalo, Moose, Elk, it's just the best. Plain and simple. Uh, LNA Adventures, thanks for the super chat as well. Really appreciate you guys. What loadout are we using? We're running with my pretty much normal loadout 300 M1, 243, and 22. Just all four of those weapons, you can go to any map and uh, cover everything. Diamond or Call of the Wild is bugged. I mean, in theory, if I don't kill a diamond, Call of the Wild is working properly because it shouldn't be too easy. I had a pretty good stretch. Friday, um, I recorded the Medved video Friday before the stream. We killed a rare lynx and a diamond brown bear. Then I just looked over there. Anyway, then uh, Friday's stream we had two diamonds on Layton. And it's just been pretty good. Nope, it'll probably stop. Not behind the blind though. That doesn't help me. You wanna stop again? That was extreme misfortune. Well, we'll get the mail anyway. How many numbers are in the alphabet? Twelve. Can't find many lions on the savannah. Uh, if you go during their drink time, which is 12 to 1500, almost every lake on the map, you'll see a couple of lions hanging out. But uh, my favorite spot would be these two lakes. They're down in like the kind of southeast. Really good area. I gotta move this tent. Is that the female? I heard another one. I don't see it. They've been invisible today, so I'm not surprised. I'm not too worried. I'm sure we're going to be doing a second run, and do I just move the tent now? I don't even know where to put it. I'll worry about that later. If I knew where I wanted to put it, maybe I'd do it now. 12 is a meme joke. Uh, 12 is the... I don't really know exactly how it started. I think it had a lot to do with G-Man, but it's just the answer to everything. Stick around long enough and you'll know. Stick around long enough and 12 will become a part of your life. Mr. Steve's Gaming Adventures, thanks for the super chat, man. Uh, I'm on Xbox, can't find lions uh, on Savannah, where are they? I'm not sure if you heard me answering that, I think it was your question actually, so might have just been a little bit of a delay thing going on there, but uh, yeah, like I said, they're pretty all over. You go during their drink time, you'll see them, like, most lakes. I think this one doesn't have them, this one doesn't have them, and this one doesn't have them. I've even had them here, so... Like I said, they're they're pretty all over the map, actually. So the way we'll do this is we'll smoke that. Actually, we'll get over here a little further just to increase our chances of not spooking the ones on the other side. 250. Once she lifts her head... Now, go back to this side. I think it's best we run. Like, even if we do spook the others, a lot of times they stand still. What's up, Kill Clinton? What are you, 12? Yes. 
when do you unlock the 30 out 6? The 30 out 6 is a DLC weapon, so um the 30 out 6, what is it called? Eckers, I think, is in weapon pack 3. The M1, which fires 30 out 6 ammo, is in um the smoke and barrels weapon pack, so both of those are DLC weapons. Not over here. That's a little bit strange. Maybe they're all down in the corner then? It almost never happens that no lions spawn down here, so I think they gotta be somewhere. Chat needs to chill. Ain't no chill in chat. It's 100 miles an hour all the time. I have a Chad voice. Yes. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna go with it. Uh, LNA Adventures, thank you again, man. What level is best to start hunting for diamonds? I mean, you can do it at any level, like, if you have a pretty good concept of, like, kind of how the game works with, um, the different weapon and animal classes and all that stuff. But I really think, at least till, like, level 20 anyway, and probably even beyond that, I think it's best to mainly focus on like shooting everything and getting your your levels and your skill points and all that stuff up a little higher because it helps you in the the pursuit of diamonds I guess so yeah I don't know maybe 30 is a good place to really start looking yeah I haven't seen like as many kill Clinton but then I came down here during my video I had like four all in this one corner I can't figure out what the deal is. Certain stuff moves around sometimes it seems to be just as good as ever here, sometimes a little bit lame. Gonna be any like over here at least? Cause this spot's usually quite consistent as well. Whole lot of nothing. Oh. Yeah, if there's a jackal hanging out in there, there's no lions. Can be certain of that. Okay. Well. If there's more jackals, I would be pretty happy to smoke a male for a respawn, but otherwise it's going to be shorter to go around this way. What the? They're hiding in weird spots today. I don't know what the deal is. Chad Foinlers in the first Let's Go Hunting video. That was my peak form back in 2015, that would have been. Uh. Probably. I see ya. I saw your toes anyway. I'm afraid of hitting the brush. Oh, wait a sec. She swings the pan hammer mightily. I agree. I'm with you, man. Um, Ryan, thank you for the super chat, dude. New to the game, should I buy the 7 mil? Is it worth it? 7 mil, in my opinion, is the most, um, like, well-rounded gun in the game. It's just about to get a shot. They don't often just wheel and run like that. That was a little bit different. Anyway. As for the 7 mil, it can cover pretty much everything from deer all the way up to water buffalo, like, you can just take out so many animals with it. I definitely recommend it. Spam is real today. Holy! Big spam! Uh. Anyway. Um, Jacob and Tango, thanks for the super chats, guys. Love to see some IRL bow hunts. I've got, uh, I don't know if you're saying you would love to see them, or like you're loving seeing them, but I've got three from this year on the channel, and I've got Another bow hunt coming out tomorrow. Um, those videos are also available four days earlier than on my channel. If you go over to the Meat Hunters YouTube channel. My videos, uh, my brothers will be there at some point this year. TK stuff. Lots of hunting, uh, hunting content coming out over there. I'm thinking the way that it looks, we might have enough hunting content for a video a week over there until spring. And hopefully by then we can pick up some turkey hunting and that kind of thing. We'll just see how it goes. What's happening tomorrow? 
there should be the release of European rabbits on Hirschfeld, as far as I know. I'm a little bit um, less caught up on everything Call of the Wild these days because, um, as I mentioned, I've been spending a lot of time in a tree stand rather than in my uh, office chair here, so a little less than normal, but pretty sure I know what's going on. Love the fits, keep up the great work. I will definitely do my best. Appreciate you, dude. Is the M1 worth buying? I would say 100%. If you hunt, like, any kind of deer from whitetail to red deer, if you hunt, say, mountain lions or pumas, um, like ibex, any any of those, like, mid-sized game species, the M1 is a must for, for grinding and trying to get respawns because you can just, you can take out so many animals so quickly with it. It's insane. It's just a really, really good weapon. I would be... Like, I can pretty much promise you, I would have been days behind on the Great One grind. Like, I would have gotten my Great One later had I used any other gun. But those fast follow-ups allowed me to kill, like, as many Whitetail as I did as quickly as I did. What's up, Billy Boy? Anything good so far? I don't think so. I don't recall anything any kind of special. Lots of lion kills, though. Uh, just lost a level 5 kudu. If it's on your map, he's out there somewhere still. Can maybe find him another day. So now that we ran around to this side, sometimes there's gonna be... Our tent is somewhere up there. Sometimes there's lions that don't spawn in over here, but don't think there's any today. Alright, and last spot, super quick. You know what I want to do is go back and check here. I haven't had lions down here in a long time. You can check this in like 30 seconds though. We'll look here quick and then go back up. People want to challenge the mod skills, it's a bad idea. Kylo wins those battles. Sorry I'm late, you're good. Just been going for 45 minutes, nothing special's happened anyway. I miss this spot having lions. Like, it used to be pretty much a lock. There'd, there'd be anywhere from one to three lions, like right around this ground blind, but that's never a thing anymore, and I really don't see them in the other zone either. I've got the zone there still. We'll get down and make sure, but I just don't see him here. And this is actually, like, over there where the marker is. That's where we killed the albino female in a random video, so... I don't know. Guess they get moved around. What if they made a DLC with feeders and water troughs <laughs> to make feed zones? I just think that's probably getting a little bit uh, close to the line of making the game too easy. So, like, I worry about that kind of thing, but it might be nice. We do have a lion there. Cool. Haven't seen any here in a long time. Uh, Mr. Steve's Gaming Adventures, thank you again. My jumping prone keeps messing up. Is there a bug? I'm not aware of any. I almost want to say that lion looks kind of bright, but I know it's not a blonde. Just must be the way the lighting is. Not given many shots. Still there just hiding for you? They definitely are liking to hide lately. Like today they're hiding in weird spots. And there's been no updates since like my last bunch of lion hunts. They're just choosing different places to, to sit today. I has passed the vibe check. How did I do that? Can you do face cam? Um, I never felt like a face cam adds a whole lot to streams, but who knows? Maybe. Don't understand. I walk for hours, don't find a lion. This man walks 10 minutes, finds a lion. Uh, I don't know if you heard me saying earlier, but 
If you hunt during their drink time, which is 12 to 1500, and just hunt near water, any of the lakes, you'll find them. They are uh, quite large animals that you can see from a distance, and they're actually, there's quite a lot of them on this map. I would guess, like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Between the ten main lakes, I would say there's minimum like 30, 40 lions on this map, and I bet there's way more than what I think there is. Don't know where he came from, but we'll take those. Is a white lion very rare? Yeah, there's albino lions, and it's just very, very rare that you see one of those. Like, there's things that are considered quite rare in this game that get posted in the discords, you know, like, a couple of times a week. Albino lions are a few times a month, I would say. Just not a lot of them out there. Killed a big doe yesterday? Nice. Did you, uh... I guess it depends on if she was in heat or not, but... Did you do anything with, uh... The glands to maybe bring a buck in? I know they're really kind of against that at the uh. moment. The CWD, but I know some people still do it, so I'm just curious. If that's something you considered. Uh, we got... Angry toilet seat with the super chat. That is one heck of a name, man. I like it. For ammo, since prices are going up. Oh, I see. For ammo, since prices are going up. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Um, awesome videos, by the way. Keep up the great work. I will definitely do my best. Don't mind me as I struggle to read your super chat. I appreciate you, dude. And Billy Boy as well. Gotta go. I guess I'm going on an evening hunt for cow elk. Ooh, nice. Good luck, man. Hope you get one. Flinter lives in Pennsylvania? I do. Okay, we'll try this since technically it could be a late, like, 1530 zone, but good chance we're going to have to reset here. Do I watch football? I do. That tends to be the one good thing, I guess, about PA having no Sunday hunting. Although they're, they're slowly working it in. I can kind of just sit home and watch all the football games. Got a level 5 black tail that just fled from me, what do I do? I would probably, like, track it slowly. Sometimes they go back to their zone, sometimes they wander off a couple hundred meters and just, like, make a new zone, essentially. And they'll just be nervous. And sometimes it seems they just wander off forever, but I would just slowly hang with it and see if you can catch up to it and get a shot. Can you go on a goose hunt? Probably not during the stream, but we'll likely do more goose hunts here fairly soon. Betcha I found our lion. Not hunting this year, sadly. Maybe next year. Uh, RCG, you're close enough that I have certainly been in that town many times, but I don't want to give away any more than that. Chasing a level 8 lion? Nice. I always, like, we killed... Was it on stream or during the video? We killed, like, four or five mythicals. I always like seeing, like, high-level lions. There's something... I don't care about, like, mythical... Uh, bears or coyotes or jackal. Or, like, cape buffalo, water buffalo. Something about lions I actually, like, want to make an effort to kill the mythicals. Yeah, I think it's just they're more rare. Lucky's been here the whole time. The last 49 minutes and 39 seconds, Lucky has been here for every one of them. What's your social security number? Uh, 12, 12, 12, 12. Do you need the, uh, credit card number too? <laughs> Do I like the Spanish map? Yeah, I like it. Quattro is a fun map. It's not like super high on my list of favorites but I enjoy it um Johnny thanks for the super chat is there a great one for all the animals or can you explain how it works at the moment it's only whitetail I think eventually we'll see more and more species getting them but uh yeah there's only great one whitetail at the moment can we do this that felt good I think that yeah it's starting to drop I think we tucked that right behind the shoulder 
still going to run pretty far, but we'll get that. Anyway, as far as great ones go, um, yeah, it's just like a super rare level 10 uh, animal. And I would say, you know, in the in the coming updates, you could expect to see more of them being added. That's the meme too? I know, what a coincidence. It was almost like, you know, they gave me that social security number and was like, this is gonna be your best meme ever. So enjoy it. And I was like, thank you. Hi. Nope. Please go away. Thank you. Can you use the 10 gauge? I probably won't use it today, but might uh bring it out for a hunt soon. Best time to go for lions? Anywhere between 12 and 1500 and hunt the lakes. They will be quite easy to find out in the open. Bunch of small kudu. There's a four at least, but still small. Anything good just got off school? Uh, nothing, nothing of interest really so far. Chad is dead. Big dead. I swear I keep hearing Cape Buffalo charging, but I think I'm losing my mind. Okay. We are going to do a hi. Maybe I did hear Cape Buffalo charging. We're going to fast travel first of all. And we're going to do a little game reset. And this is... People ask, like, how to get respawns all the time. This is essentially the way I do it. When I say game reset, all I mean is I'm going to, like, exit to desktop and come back in. But the way that I do it, and it seems to work, is I go change the time to the beginning of whatever I'm hunting for's drink time. So in this case, I want lions. And I usually do, like, about 20 minutes in. So lion drink time starts at 12. I would do 12.20. I will then exit to desktop. So just, uh, like that. Putting that screen up rather than a black screen till we relaunch the game. And I just, uh, open it back up. And it seems that, you know, respawns... I find more animals that way than, uh, than just, like, staying in the game and just changing the time or whatever. So I think it works. It's what I tend to do. And, uh gonna do it here because I'm hoping to find more lions I guess can you get a rare fur variation great one there should be there should be those there was a, a specific fur variation discovered when they did the trailblazer beta for great ones and nobody really knew what was going on but somebody found a fabled piebald track but it ended up being like not a great one but point is there should be like a unique piebald skin for great ones so I assume there's at least that and maybe all of them. I think it's been confirmed, like they can be rare furs. My birthday is today, well happy birthday. Hope you're having a good day. Best places in time is not lions. Uh, since we're sitting here for a minute, I will always hunt them between 12 and 1500. And pretty much every lake on this entire map, except the one we're at right here, and this one right here. Every other lake I'd go to. So actually, we'll start down here this time. It's a bit of a run, so lions should work their way into their zones. How much... is this a very small bowl, Lucky, or how much cake do you have? Uh, Pirate Fan, did you send me that on Discord? Because somebody just sent me a leucistic diamond Cape Buffalo lately. best map to hunt on? I mean, it depends on what you enjoy. Like, for me, I think it's Leighton. I haven't done a ton of hunting Leighton lately. I'm kind of waiting on uh, Moose to get fixed eventually, because that's going to make a big difference for me. But, yeah, like, I... Most of what I enjoy is hunting animals with antlers. Like, why that is, I don't necessarily know, but I just enjoy it a lot. Leighton has most of, uh, 
most of its species being animals with antlers, so I like that. I also like Verhunga because it's very, like, exotic to me. So it just depends on what you like, but Verhunga is quite easy to hunt, very open, which is nice. Oh, I see you, Lucky. That makes sense. How many harvests? We're over 27,000. Let's take a look. 27,091. Cruising with uh, 11,000 silvers, 8,000 golds, 5,000 bronze, and 633 on the diamond count now. Uh, favorite gun in Call of the Wild? I mean, I really like the M1. The M1's just... It's the best grinding weapon. It's extremely accurate. Quite powerful as well. Like, uh, for its weapon class. Just good all around. Got an albino jackal, there you go. Do you ever read slash respond to the Me Hunters Discord? I see TK on there a lot, so I know he does. Um, I try to get in there where I can, but I also have like my own Discord that I try to take care of and um Yeah, if I if I get tagged, I definitely run in there and like I scroll through stuff more than I type in there, I would say. Do you have an albino turkey if you're asking about in the game? I think I have two or three. Background and lions can't hit none. Trying to get the rares. I think, you know, of all the, like, animal grinds that I really want to do, I think this is the most time-consuming one. <laughs> I've got diamond fox I want to do. Diamond moose, which is kind of eh at the moment. Diamond must ear, and I think that's it as far as diamonds. But then there's like rare lions, um, and like small plaque stuff, so maybe more ducks, warthogs, that sort of thing. I just figured this is gonna take the most time and gotta get on it. What's up, Johnny? Uh, Tyrone, thanks for the super chat as well. Loving the videos, I've been watching you since Yukon Valley first released, so that was, man, a year and a half ago. Appreciate you sticking around that long, dude. Lucky's really keeping us posted on this cake. I like how Flinter has shot the same amount of diamonds as I have animals. Well, I've been playing for a long time, man. I said it earlier, it's 35.70 on my hours total at this point. I should find a hobby or something. That'd be a good idea. Tips on shooting a great one. I do have a video where... I did one video, like, talking about my setup and, like, how I grind for... Whitetail and grind for a great one that I did another video like kind of uh, looking back at how I did get one so I'd recommend maybe checking them out. I always, I don't know why I look. This is the same herd of wildebeest. I don't shoot any. I don't know why I look back and hope there's going to be a diamond. What are you chasing there Johnny? I missed your, your first message I think. You get a nine. I'm sure it's a mountain lion. Got a draw on Vancouver Island this year for elk and harvest it last week. What do they have there? Because I know there's Roosevelt like uh, like in the uh, in the states that wouldn't be too far south of there. Unless I'm completely off, but I'm curious which uh, which elk species you're after. You know what that is? That's the lion that we missed. We didn't we didn't take a shot at it, but. We missed out on uh, getting that one during the video, so it'll probably continue along that way. And I bet we can get ourselves a shot a little more in the open. I've seen a lot of 5 medium moose lately. I haven't seen one in such a long time. I killed the one, that troll that wasn't even remotely close in yesterday's video, but before that, I can't. I couldn't even tell you the last time I saw one. Maybe it's because I don't really shoot a ton of moose on my own map, but even in multiplayer, like, I've been around Leighton fairly often. I'm not seeing much of anything. Too many whys. That was not a wise decision. I need to just 
I need to get better about shooting stuff that I'm not chasing and getting respawns because it's that kind of stuff like just having other potential cool kills while I'm say grinding for lions in this case that can make it a little more fun what do you think of the new rabbits I don't think they're gonna be like the kind of thing that keeps people necessarily coming back to Hirschfelden like for a long period of time but I think for a while it's going to be good to um, to have a reason to go back there and I don't know we'll have to see I classic has something similar and I never really cared for them but I know I'll spend some time hunting them I've got a bunch of the little uh, platforms that I like to put rabbits on in the trophy lodge so the more variety there the better a solid PC version of Call of the Wild? What do you mean by that? I'm not quite sure I'm following you. I love your streams, man. Keep up the great work. I'll definitely do my best, dude. Can you kill more than one great one? Yeah. I think I know someone that has two. I can't uh, confirm it, but I do recall someone posting in the Discord that they had just seen a second one. Like I said, can't confirm that's 100% legit or true, but should be very possible. Johnny the Diamond Hunter. He is known for such exploits. I shouldn't say exploits. It's it's fine, but made that sound bad. Known for such uh, accomplishments. That's what I meant. I see how you are, Lucky. You didn't any offer any to me. Wow. You saying I need to lose weight or something? Rude. Basically getting a diamond a day from Mount Lions. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Somebody asked about elk. I was just saying Silver Ridge Peaks has like that level of respawns where if you shoot a lot of stuff and you spend time on that map, you're going to get quite a lot of diamonds. How come you don't hunt Silver Ridge Peaks as much anymore? I just, you know, I spent a lot of time there. Um... I kind of have, like, wow, getting bigger. I have goals with what I want to do for my trophy lodge, and I kind of accomplished them with Silver Ridge Peaks. Like, I got, I think, five or six diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. That was a big thing for me. Had a diamond Plains Bison in there. We're going to have to call him out of the reeds. Uh, what else was there? Pronghorn and Mountain Goat. Like, I got three or four of each. A couple of Bighorn. Mule deer's the only thing, and they're kind of a little bit buggy at the moment, so I'm waiting on that to change. Oh, I'm sorry, Lucky. I didn't mean to ignore you. I take it all back. I'm only 15. I'm actually 12. That's not the same one. Well, then... Definitely going to take a shot from the tripod because we're potentially shooting two here. How did it feel killing the great one? I always say it was this insane... Um, for one, the way that it ran past me was just ridiculous. But it was this insane like uh, combination of like relief being done with that grind. Um, obviously, adrenaline and you know excitement over that. And there was a little bit of almost like sad to be done kind of feeling it was funny the way that actually went where did that level four go what happened to him can i spot him if i back up and get the reeds to like render out uh, i think i see him <laughs> hiding down in there all right that shot will have to be no tripod. Yikes. Tried to rush that. That was a poor decision. Don't worry. We got it. I'm negative 12? That too. What is glitched about moose? Um, It just seems like... There's way too many 2s and 3s spawning, not enough 4s and 5s. Like, I just think there's something off with the ratios. Where was that thing that I wanted to read? 
we already have European hair on Quattro, so why did they just rename them to rabbits and not just port them to Hirschfeld? Because they're not actually the same, as far as I know. Um, they're gonna be burrowing, which I guess is different behavior. And, you know, make it a new species, another diamond to try to get for people. I just think it's sort of like the reindeer caribou thing. They're probably ultimately, um, you know, at some point they were the exact same at some point in their evolutionary line or whatever, but living in different areas, they adapted to different things, and it's just something a little bit different. I have no problem with that. You know, it's not like it is uh, taking anything away from us, I feel. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 for uh, for all the lions. Once again, part of the Yukon Valley DLC. It's just... Honestly, Yukon Valley as a map is worth it. Just for the gun. It's just so useful. <laughs> Did pretty good as far as respawns over here, though. Two males and a female. Pretty good start. Chat's moving fast, I can't read them all. I, I try to get as many as I can. I just sort of, you know, when chat's moving as fast as it is, I just kind of have to look over and pick a message, just something that sticks out to me. So it's it's just a, a struggle to keep up with everything. Most amount of money you've ever gotten for one animal, I think. Man, there's Gemsbuck that give, like, over 1,500. I think Lions might give more than that. I'm not even sure. Never paid too much attention to that. Can you go to your Trophy Lodge? If we kill anything worth going to the Trophy Lodge for, we will do that. Uh, what do you think about an AR-style weapon on Call of the Wild? Depending on its... Uh, you know, the caliber they go with. I think that could be fairly useful. I'm trying to think. Like, the 22 pistol, I guess the 22 LR as well, are kind of like semi-auto. Is the 22 LR or is it bolt? I don't even know. Yeah, semi-auto, okay. Um, so... Yes, yeah, as long as it's kept for small game, I think it's fine. Nice. Okay. I guess we'll check here again. Just work our way south. Other than the fact that everything was hiding from us, it worked pretty well last time. 1300 from a female lion. If we kill a male, like a good size one, I'll look. Lions pay. Do they go as, as high as 1800? That's a lot of cash for a single kill. Let's say that's a good sign. Hiding down in there again, perhaps, though. Just started playing Hunter Classic. How do I make money fast, and what gun do I buy first? Missions are 100% the way to go, and as far as what gun you buy first, I would actually, um... I would go through and do missions, and I would look and see, like... Okay, this is gonna be a little bit difficult to explain... To, to explain. To explain. Not being in the game to show you. But... I would go, say, like, do all the Whitetail missions until there's a mission that requires, like, a gun you don't own, and then go to, say, the Mule Deer missions and do the same thing, and then go to, I don't know, Elk or whatever, and, uh, just, you know, my personal approach would be buy the guns that maybe can do several of those missions, like, if you find a, maybe there's a Whitetail and a Mule Deer mission around that both require, like, the 8x57, I would buy the 8x57, or, like, you know, whatever that is. That would be my approach, because early on like that, you're going to want to be able to just do as many missions as you can. Because they actually pay out really well. Like, towards the beginning, they're not giving you that many. When you get to the end of the missions, you're looking at, like, almost enough GM to buy 
an entire gun, so an entire gun. As if you can buy half a gun. Anyway, you get my point. 1800 for a max level line? That doesn't surprise me. That sounds probably, uh, very, uh, possible. The rarest animal you've ever shot? I mean, I guess as far as spawn rate, it would definitely be the great one, but... Um, I had an albino diamond moose way back in the day, like... When diamonds just weren't as rare and... Or weren't... Diamonds were more rare, weren't as common. You know, one of the two. You just didn't see as many diamonds in general. So I just think... Factoring in... Like... Circumstances around... The shot, that's probably the most rare. I would say it was still more common than the great one, but taking that out of the equation. Okay. Uh, this spot... Did we kill them both? I think we did. And this spot... We need to go slow, because there was one that we didn't see. So we'll walk down to our tripod. And... Hopefully call it in. When you spot an animal, you can see the weight and activity. What skill is that? Uh, so that would be in your ambusher tree down here. It's going to be spotting knowledge. So level 1 is health, level 2 is trophy rating and weight, level 3 is how aware the animal is of nearby threats. The activity when you're saying like feeding, resting, drinking, I think that's regardless of uh, skill points. Unless I'm losing my mind. Don't know if PA Hunter can actually hear me then, but uh, good luck to you if you can hear me. It was a very slow morning, so maybe they'll move better this evening. Evening in general has been best for me. Uh, if you haven't seen the Meat Hunters video, I won't spoil it since it's going to be out on this channel tomorrow. But since uh, my encounters on November 4th, my best during, like activity has been, say, after 4 o'clock. So I guess it's just now after 4 o'clock. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully things heat up. How do you have so much money? I played this game a lot, and I have quite a few kills. Um, it adds up. We just looked. I'm at 30... F well, not quite 3,600 hours. Uh, Chase, thanks for the super chat, man. Just shot two dilute mule deer, and they were in the same herd. Yeah, you'll see that every now and then. Dilutes are kind of... More like an uncommon than a rare, but it's still pretty cool when you see two of them, like, you know, hanging out in the same area. Okay. If we can just spot random bunnies, surely like a 400 pound lioness, or could even be a male lion, but I'm just guessing it's a female. We know there was one here because it called at us. What does the blue name mean? The blue names are the moderators. So they, uh, you know, keep everything running smooth in the chat. Well. I don't really know what to think. I sure don't see any lines, so... I guess we'll just keep moving. Give this spot a shot and see if anything's respawned. Uh, Tanner, thank you for the super chat. I don't know what to say. It's a happy birthday. Well, thank you. I mean, you're actually not even too far off, so it works. Appreciate the super chat, man. Killed my first year with a bow last Thursday. That's awesome, man. Same deal as, like, first year in general. First year with a bow, you're never going to forget. I remember, like, such stupid details of mine. Um, stupid in the sense that, like, it should be entirely irrelevant. But, um, I live close enough to the local, um, high school football field that I can hear the band playing from certain areas, like, uh, where I hunt. And it was a Friday night, 
so there was a football game that night and I can specifically remember like hearing the band playing before the game and sitting there there was like a couple of like little stick snapping sounds in the same area and they caught me off guard because I just thought it was like squirrels or whatever I should have known better I was only I think 14 but I should have known better once like several in the same place happened to really pay attention but shot her at like 20 yards with a lot of daylight left just those weird little things that I guess because it was my first one with the bow I still remember don't see any sign of where that female went we might be able to catch up to this male here um Tyrone thank you again man what animal would you say is the easiest to get and grind for diamonds? Uh, Pronghorn and Mountain Goat are very easy to grind over there on Silver Ridge Peaks. Whitetail I thought were easy, but it seems like they're a little bit different now. Dang. A couple accidental hard shots today. Uh, let me think. Easy to grind for diamonds. I think anything on Silverbridge Peaks. I should I should just uh, phrase it that way. And I mean, access to your right now, but grinding is not required for them. Hey, Silver. Finally got a stop by. What's up, man? Glad you can make it to the stream. Hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope this lion enjoys himself and runs around the edge of the water so we can shoot them. I think they usually do if they stick this tight to the like shoreline. Is it a shore on a lake, or is that only like an ocean thing? I see up there. Should be smoked. And got one over there, which is gonna take off on us. I like how the only one that we dropped was the furthest one on the trot. Sense me. Uh, Chase, thank you again, man. Where I can hear the high school band, too. Oh, that's cool. It's another just little entertaining factor, I guess. <laughs> we can we can form that band, bottom boy. I got you. Um, Max Brown Bear estimate, because I'm on level 9, he's thick. Should be 27 to 29 would be the best you can get. 29 is max score, so you shouldn't see an estimate above that. Ducks and turkeys are fun to grind for diamonds. I've never really done much for turkeys. I kind of just shoot them when I see them in diamond shop because Silver Ridge Peaks is Silver Ridge Peaks and respawns are that good. You're good, Billy. By the time you're hearing that, you're probably back if you're only lurking for a second or two. What real life big game tags did you get this year? Uh, I have, well, remaining I've got one buck tag, but I had a buck tag and three doe tags. Which is the most I've ever had. I never had more than three total. But at least as I understand it, due to CWD and trying to get the deer population down a little bit, they had more tags, they extended the archery season for a week, and they added two different Sundays to hunt, which usually Sunday hunting is completely uh, illegal in PA. Other than, I want to say crows, coyotes, maybe groundhogs? I'm not certain on that one. But yeah. I think the Sunday hunting thing is going to stay, though. I think they're slowly working that in. Still shook that Billy's name is not actually Billy. It's just... It's not right. Just doesn't seem the same. How do you get Silver Ridge Peaks on PS4? It should just be, like, in the, uh... In the PlayStation Store under DLCs for the game. I think if you search Silver Ridge Peaks, it'll be in the PlayStation Store as well. What platform would you recommend to start streaming? I guess if you're asking about, like, YouTube or Twitch, 
Twitch, I would say, is a better streaming environment, but you're going to get more attention, more viewers, like, generally speaking, if you start out on YouTube. YouTube has more people using it, like, on a consistent basis. And the way that, uh, like, Twitch can be quite tough to get discovered on. If you have a little base, you can get discovered very easily. So, it can be a good thing to establish a base on YouTube and kind of work your way over to Twitch as well. That's a thing a lot of people do. Uh, Tanner, thank you again, man. I know what I know what to say maybe now. How many deer can you shoot where you live? I'm up in northeast Washington. I can only shoot one. Oh, I know what to say now. I see, because you... Happy birthday, never mind. Sorry. Don't mind my slow brain. Uh, yeah, usually it ends up being three. Usually I can get a buck tag and two doe tags, but uh, this year it was four total with the third doe tag. We'll take our chances here and see if we can spot this line is through the reeds. Hey, Mick. It is I, Mick boy. Did you ever answer... I guess you told me you weren't gonna tell me if I was correct or incorrect about your thing. Also, the Melanistic Magpie, I think they got one. I'm pretty sure I saw that in the Hunter official. Curious if you uh, know what the deal is with that. Oh. Saw it disappear into the brush. I don't think that's worth the time to go after. I think we'll keep on moving. We're going to check here super quick, because there was nothing last time. I don't expect that to have changed. Seems as if that's the case. So we'll just keep on moving it. Where are the best coyote spots in Layton? I'm really not good with coyotes. Um, I think... I mean, Renaki's good for them. Norden actually has quite a lot. I saw a good number of them in Balmont yesterday. What is the bottom right area? Mount Leviathan, I think. That's got a lot of them. Why is Sunday hunting banned in PA? I don't know the actual reason. I just know it has been, like, ever since I started hunting. Opinion on Call the Wild versus Hunting Sim 2? I definitely think Call of the Wild's a better game. Um, Hunting Sim 2, I really think it just got released for the Switch. They finally got it out on the Switch, and I really think that's the ideal platform for that game. Like, it actually feels like a good mobile hunting game. And, uh, I definitely considered, well, I have to see still, I definitely considered getting it on my Switch and maybe, uh, giving that a shot. I don't have any way of making content from the Switch, but just, you know, having it make content from the PC on the same game and it would look better. Will they fix Moose and Mule Deer tomorrow? I have no idea. I hope so. We will have to wait and see. What did I miss about carnivores? Other than the fact that I'm supposed to stream it one of these days? Mount Kraken? I think Mount Kraken is... Maybe I have him backwards. I thought Mount Kraken was over by Willipeg. I don't know. I can never keep him straight. We'll try here again, but this whole experiment last time was an oof. Do I have merch? Uh, not only do I have merch, there may be other potential merch in the works. Today I got my first uh, diamond. It was a goose. Nice. I like the geese. I've actually enjoyed them quite a lot. I never cared for them when they initially came out, but they're quite fun to hunt. I like them a lot. More merch is in the works. I wonder if you heard me say that before you uh, typed that out, because otherwise, same page. What a shocker. Is the Duck and Cover DLC worth buying? Um, 
Honestly, I never hunt ducks using any of that equipment. I'm guessing that female's over there. Probably just spawned in and worn and coming up by that blind, but we can't see it. Anyway, uh, for for me when I hunt ducks, um, <laughs> I see that bottom boy. I like it. Uh, I hunt ducks with a 22, and the duck and cover DLCs, the blinds, the decoys, and the shotguns, like, Dee has been doing good duck hunting from a blind, so maybe it works again, but lately it hasn't even worked. Did you write it first, Kyla? Okay. No surprise there. My son's rocking his first Schuster hoodie, that's awesome. That's good to hear. I'm glad he loves it. <laughs> Let's not do that. We'll come back to that one. Thoughts on a new trophy lodge? I think that's probably something we need, to be quite honest. I'd really like... Just... Like... N not specifically themed in any direction, because the Seca Safari obviously is... Uh, themed? Because I didn't, I didn't really feel like Spring Creek Manor was themed at all. And that part of it I liked. I wonder if it's stuck... It looked like its head was stuck in the blind, but... I guess it fell out of there. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I think it would be good to do a, uh... Guess there's another one. Just like a log cabin, almost. Oh, I seen it. It runned away. I think... The direction it was going. We might be able to catch it. Down off the side of the sill, so we'll go that way for a minute. Uh, anyway, yeah. I think that would be good. Like, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, they could use the basic just like a safari um, layout. You know, like, all one level. Just a huge bunch of rooms, bunch of big hallways. That kind of thing. Just not so themed because, you know, when, say, 50% of my lodge or whatever is... North America species, it just seems a little bit out of place, in a way. So, yeah, I think one that's less specific might be good. Alright, sir. I see your tracks. At least I think. Big meal. Might have been just a touch back on that. Did that miss? Are we just missing now? Hit him that time. Alright, well that'll speed up the process anyway. That went slightly uh, less than ideal to what it could have. Whitetail drink time is actually the same as lions, 12 to 1500. Could you see the possibility of seeing elephants added into the game? I really don't see him doing it. It just doesn't seem like uh, the direction they want to go with the game. Maybe down the road. You never know. But it kind of seems like they're staying away from that kind of thing. They, they sort of made a point. I don't feel like I'm really talking uh, about spoilers for the Verhunga story, but if you haven't played through the Bronga story and don't want spoilers, uh, close your ears for a second, I guess. But, you know, it's been out for two years, so. They made a point of, you know, talking about um, the rhino and, like, poaching and that kind of thing, and they were very anti-poacher with the whole story, so I, I think they're going to stay away from that sort of thing. Better go find a bottom boy. It's going to be upset. Is that the dog that would be potentially doing tracking, or do you have several dogs? What gun pack should I buy? I recommend smoking barrels. Um, I, I call it weapon pack 4 all the time, but uh, I think it's specifically called in the store. Smoking barrels, it's got the M1, it's got the 10 gauge, and it's got the muzzleloader. 
all three just good weapons. Good to uh, use in a lot of different scenarios. Um, Tyrone, thank you again, man. I think with all the money I've, I've given you, I could keep your channel going. Uh, is it easier to get diamonds small game than it is bigger animals? It depends. Um, I do appreciate all the uh, support, dude. I would say ducks, especially cinnamon teal, you get a lot of diamonds of. I think jackrabbit on Layton are a little more commonly diamond than euro hair or scrub hair. Other small game, like coyotes, red fox, they're pretty rare to make diamond. And then there's big game, like uh. access to your bug, but there's diamonds of those all over the place. Uh, you see quite a lot of diamond elk getting posted, diamond mountain lions and pumas. It just depends on the species. Some are more rare than others. Uh, Kyle, thanks for the super chat and the support, man. I appreciate you. Still don't like the idea of hunting endangered animals. Yeah, I just think there's enough they can do to stay away from that, that it's not even necessary. I'm kind of with you. Poach your DLC map. Yikes. Clinger, not clinger. That's, that's the autocorrect we need. I know what you meant, don't worry. I've been watching you for a while and love your content. Well, thank you, dude. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Autocorrect? I, I feel it, man. I have several times a day where my autocorrect just refuses to type what I want it to type. How do you get the 10 gauge? Uh, yeah, that smoke and barrels are weapon pack for DLC. We're gonna be tracking this for a while by the looks of it. It is dead. But they run at quite a pace, so he'll be covering some ground. Is there a problem with Whitetail and Leighton? I can't find any need zones or any sign of them since the last update. A lot of people are saying their zones seem to be up in the trees more. They're like, not down near the water as much. I seem to find them just fine, but maybe mine aren't affected in the same way. Maybe I'm lucky with my zone placement. I don't know. But yeah, maybe try looking just a little harder, like, in the more forested areas. I'm not really sure what to say, because I haven't had that issue. First time it was a spring buck. There you go. Still definitely one of my favorites in this game. Imagine saying my name correctly. You haven't even typed out my name the same way twice, ever. As far as I'm aware. Uh, jeez, have we gotten... I think we covered everything, so we'll hop down here again. Mr. Mediocre, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I do appreciate you. Gonna depend on how respawns went here. How much longer are we streaming? Uh, about 25 minutes. That's weird. They're usually not that close to the tent. Can you go alert? Turn back this way, please. Please and thank you. Or not. Just have yourself a drink, then. Uh. That was a shot opportunity I don't often get, so I wanted to go for it. What the heck? They're all over there this time. Okay. Good deal. Just can't shoot anymore, because that's going to be a uh, deletion level hunting pressure. Uh, Carson, thank you again, dude. My highest scoring red deer, I guess, Legacy, I have a 264, I believe. It was actually on a Twitch stream on Quattro, but on Truex, I think my best is a 254 or something. I haven't had any big ones. I think so, bottom boy. When did I, when did I tell you that I was talking to him? Because he was supposed to leave tomorrow from that day. I can't... Well, I guess I was hunting Saturday. I think he leaves or left today. I, I've heard nothing from him, so I don't know what he's got going on. Uh, Kyle, thank you for the super chat and the support, dude. I appreciate you. Shot my first diamond moose yesterday. Nice. We're actually doing quite good on the lion count today. I think we've shot some other species, but... We, in the last hour, basically, 
have killed 20, so doing pretty good. Mirror, mirror. Oh. Well, that was a weird place to hear a lion. I think the move is going to be fast travel to get on it quickly. See one down there. It sounds like there's two. I only saw the one. And that one, I guess, stopped in the brush? See what it was. It's another female, which really is a good thing. Like, that's mainly what I'm after. I think I just saw it, too. I thought I saw something scooting through. Yeah. No. You were so broadside and perfect. And then I didn't have the spotting info. That's unfortunate. Might be able to catch it around that end and get a shot still. Oh, there was a second. There's a male... I don't know where he got to. Well, again, might be able to get a shot around the edge. Don't see much over there. Such a good explanation. Dude, all my days are running together. I don't know what's going on. Do you ever get bored of this game? Lately, not as much as I used to. Um, I think the fact that I've started working in, you know, Throwback Thursdays with uh, Alaskan Adventures, and if uh, G-Man is correct, and I think he actually is, I think we're one video away from actually completing that. So we're going to have to get going with a, a second game. But there's that, and then Classic, and I guess this time of year I'm hunting a lot in... Uh, in real life, so it takes away from some of the hours that I put into this game, but yeah, I, I used to get bored of it every now and then and just kind of do some other stuff for a few days, but I never get super bored of it, quite honestly. It's just, I guess, the way that I approach it. You are just refusing to give me a shot, huh? Don't see the mail. I feel like I hear it. There's a car outside calling back at the lion, it sounds like. Got my first diamond yesterday, Blacktail Buck. Not bad, man. I think Blacktail was a lot of people's first diamond, because Leighton was just kind of... The map a lot of people uh, mainly hunted back in the day. Alright, we're at the end of Lion Drink Time again. I don't think we're going to do a game reset this time. Why don't we just go and look for Springbuck because could do with more diamonds around. If you stream carnivores, Billy and I would be happy. It'll happen on Twitch one of these days. It will. I can't promise you when, but I am going to do it. Mows in because it's gonna drop them quicker. And hopefully, we can kill some spring buck for respawns. I saw a screenshot um, from Farming Sim just earlier today, and it made me want to play so bad again. I uninstalled it to make room for Red Dead because I wanted to start doing some stuff with that, maybe. And now I'm kind of considering going back that direction. One day. That's exactly right, bottom boy. One of these days, AK never. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. Female gums but can be diamond. They're the ones that usually make it, yeah. Apparently in real life... Uh, they tend to have, like, I think it's longer, skinnier horns, and they're, they're like, straight like they are in-game, and uh, males are usually shorter, thicker, and they have, like, the curve. Is that a dark brown? Oh, and a mythical? I think it is. I am quite confident that's a rare. 
I really wish it was just one level higher, but... That's 100% a dark brown. That's ridiculous. Okay, so... First we make the shot. Definitely got him good. We'll get you two for response, I suppose. I think we... Where are they coming from? What the heck's going on here? Smoked her, too. So anyway... What I wanted to get at there, uh, but got distracted by multiple Linuses, is that the other dark brown lion I shot was a mythical at this lake in kind of a similar fashion, just going here kind of at the end of a stream. What the heck? Alright, uh, Kyle, thanks so much for the super chat. I think somebody became a member. I think I thanked Kyle already, but I'm all distracted. Where did that go? I heard the sound. Did somebody become a channel member and it didn't show up? Because if you did, please uh, make yourself known in chat because I, I do not see anything in my alerts. Smoked big mail. Would have loved that that was a legendary, but we'll take a, a definite gold rare. Figures we'd find ourselves a male first when I'm looking for females, but we'll take it. What in the world? They are everywhere over here. Maybe I shouldn't hunt their drink time. No, don't trot. I want to shoot you. Shoot to them all, and we're not done. Just while well, it's in the open. Oh, slow down. It's gonna fling a 22 round at it to get it to slow down. That should be back of the lungs and liver. Where did I get Alaskan Adventures from? I just bought it on eBay. It was a used uh, PC copy of it. Smoked. Okay. Actually got ourselves a rare line on a rare line stream. How about that? Pretty darn nice. Um, the in-game camera a lot of times isn't working. Sometimes it does for me. I think it did. Just in case, though. Put that away. Get a screenshot like that. Because that seems to work. Wow. I don't know if it's bigger or smaller than the other one I killed. Pretty cool, though. 47 scoring... Dark brown lion. Get screenshots at all the angles here. Because I don't see a lot of these. Flinter is a male seeking female. Sounds like a Tinder questionnaire. Yes? <laughs> thank you, I think. Uh, Carson, thank you again, man. Gonna have a good day? You too, dude. I appreciate the uh, support and everything, dude. Hope you have a, a good evening. Alright, we're gonna taxonomize that. So what do you think, guys? Do we vote the blonde lion out of the trophy lodge? I don't want to vote the diamond out because, like, I'm trying to keep a diamond of everything. Like, one diamond at least of everything in the lodge. So to get rid of the, um, the diamond that we have in that one multi-mount, I would need to get, like, a diamond rare, essentially. So, I think that's the move, but... Not quite sure. I didn't claim the second female, right? No. So there's another one here somewhere. I think I just saw blood. That does look... Yeah, I like them a lot. I think that's probably what most of the high-scoring lines should look like. Like darker main and stuff, but... It's quite cool when they're a rare. Albino bobcat or bad. I'm not... You know, listen. Not everybody is as cool as you dropping albino fox and albino bobcats and all that cool stuff in classic. Some of us have to go to Call of the Wild to get our rares, but that's okay. The blonde has been voted off the island. I think that's just... I think that's the correct move. 
I, I lost track again. Okay. 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 Claimed all three. We're good. Um, Stathis, did I say that right? Thanks for the super chat, man. Rip to the blonde. So much to the favorite. I mean, maybe not the favorite. A favorite fur type, perhaps. <laughs> um, no comment, bottom boy. Your albino lie was a mythical? I wish mine had been a gold, so I now have a gold of two of the three rare uh, fur types. That's, that's awesome, man. Once again, one level higher, and that would have been just crazy. I'm talking about, like, for years, of course. It was like 370 meters. <laughs> Smoked. Now we get to run all the way over there. I think I said they're my favorite, Billy. I don't I don't know uh I don't know what the specific quote was. Runs into tree while flexing albino moose. I've run into many trees while uh admiring big males. It happens. Playing Uno today. Uno big mail, that's all I know. Thanks, Jack. Honestly, pretty happy with that one since I didn't uh, look too closely. Classic tips uh, if you've played Call of the Wild, I would recommend just moving slower than you usually do in Call of the Wild. Just kind of. I would say walk or even crouch around. Listen for uh, calls. You want to have your hunter made out to be able to ID them. And uh, There's going to be like a little circle that kind of like pings on your hunter mate when an animal calls. And that shows you where the animal called from. You can kind of move in that direction. If it's an animal that you have a caller for, uh, call them in. You know, get them that way. And do missions because missions give you a ton of GM. Where do I keep my pistachios? In the pistachio cabinet. Where else? Oh yeah, the moose yesterday got scared and jumped and got stuck in a tree and asked me for help. That was a special time. I was like, just getting ready. Like, when it's not a special animal, I usually don't react when I spot it. So I kind of like get myself into position to shoot it and I was kind of just getting ready to uh, like introduce that animal I guess if you want to say it that way. I was kind of getting ready to do like, well this isn't a very big one but, and then he's just like, yeah no this isn't going to be normal I'm just going to fly 50 meters. And I knew the moment that that happened I had to get myself a sound effect for it. 362, not bad. Kind of right behind the shoulder. Okay. Uh, I think this was the spot we killed the Diamond Springbuck last. Let's see what's going on over here. I don't really get herds here anymore, but we'll look. Gonna need to start brainstorming 24-hour stream games. It's, it's coming fast, man. It's gonna have to be after hunting season, I think. The way that things look. Unless I do it, like, the week of Thanksgiving, but I don't want to do that, like... There's going to be a lot of people that are off school, but, you know, I don't want to take away from the time people spend with family and stuff, so I probably don't want to do it then. We'll have to, um, we'll have to see when it is, but yeah, we're going to have to figure some games out. I know I want to do, I think I want to start off with Diamond or Bus, essentially, playing that in Call of the Wild, so streaming Call of the Wild until I get a Diamond, which I think will be fun. Classic will definitely be a game we do. Might do Scriblio again. Farming Sim, Red Dead. I mean, there's a bunch of options. There's there's a lot of stuff to do. Let's see. Let's see what's going on down in this area. What's up, Daniel? Bottom boy did a bad. Is there any diamonds I don't have? I have a uh, 
at least... I think I have at least two of everything at this point. But that'll change tomorrow at least momentarily. We'll see how long that takes. I see a whole lot of small males out here. If anybody that uh, is wondering, that is not a melanistic, that's a black brown, so not a rare, unfortunately. Smoke that. Smoke that. And I think that'll probably be pretty good. Just disregard us and carnivores again. Hey, I didn't say I was done. That probably would be a good stream to do that on. I still don't know if you guys want me to do like the original or the one that I looked at. Ooh, that's a pretty big one. Two good ones. What happened there? <laughs> the recoil just completely threw me. Slow down. They run for so long. Not the best. That one might get away. Is that a dead one? Okay. It looked like it was moving around a little bit. Uh, Rhett, thanks for the super chat, man. Overall favorite weapon in the game. Love the vids and streams. Uh, what's going on, Silver? Uh, I I'm missing some. Anyway, uh, favorite weapon, I think... I really like the 7mm, but it's probably the M1. The M1 is just <laughs> such a good gun. I think it's got to be that. And Crystal with a super chat as well. Thank you. You are the best. I appreciate that. A couple of jackal chilling in this area. I would, I would like to watch and I'll laugh the entire time if you do that one for the 24 hour. Do I have... To, you're not talking about streaming it the entire 24 hours, I don't assume. But, uh... I guess you're saying, like, the entire time that I stream it, you're going to be laughing at me. What if I don't die the entire time? What if I'm actually good at the game? Seems unlikely, but you never know. That's like asking if a Disney classic or the straight-to-DVD sequel is better. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. The one that I was looking at and kind of wanted to do was the one released in, like, 2015. That was just a shadow. I thought we had a Milanistic Jackal yet today. Just all the rares. What editing software do I use? I use a uh, Vegas 15 <laughs> Pro. It's a it's a really good editing software. I like it a lot. Snakehead, welcome back, man. Thanks for the super chat. We did get a mythical dark brown line. Pretty darn cool kill, actually. So uh, that's gonna have us headed back to the trophy lodge. Probably after we claim our 12 spring buck that we're killing at this lake. Uh, how do you back up your save on PC? I'm a boomer. Um, if I can manage to remember it properly, you gotta go into your documents, Avalanche Studios. There's two folders in there. There's one that's called Hunter Call of the Wild and one that's called just all caps COTW. You want the all caps COTW folder and then I think the top one in there should be like a long number. That's your save file folder. So you just want to make a copy of that um, and paste it elsewhere in your documents. So I do a backup like once every two weeks usually. Unless I kill something really cool like right after the stream's done. I'll make a backup because we got the dark brown lion. And I just have a little folder that I call backups. Every time I make a new folder, this one will be called 11920 save backup. And I'll paste it in there. Ooh, I don't know, bottom boy. I I think probably <laughs> because the um, videos on my channel promote meat hunters. I'm gonna guess that one happens first. It's pretty close. I I'd, I'd have to. I haven't looked at meat hunters sub count in a little bit. Um, TJ, thanks for the super chat, man. 
Really appreciate you. Classic is still the apple of my eye. I don't know what that... I mean, I, I know what it means based on context, but I've never heard that saying before. Do you know what is the best gun for classic while hunting elk? Uh, the 300's a good gun. I like to bow hunt them, but if you want to take a rifle, probably the 9.3 by 74R, the over-under. It's a great gun for pretty much anything. Ooh. Casually hard shot that one. This other one died. Might be a little bit of a trot till we go find it. What's coming out tomorrow? Uh, should be the European rabbits over there on Hirschfeld. Unfortunately, I am going to have literally zero content on them tomorrow. Uh, my next real life hunting video is going to be out, so... I can say, if you haven't seen the Meat Hunters video, it's got a fair amount of, uh buck activity going on and I'll leave it at that but um yeah I'll be doing content on the new uh rabbits Wednesday then that Thursday will be Alaska Adventures Friday I'm sure we'll probably stream Hirschfelden on Twitch and uh we'll go from there anyway we are gonna go back to the trophy lodge because we actually got ourselves something to put in the lodge who to thunk it yeah I'd say that'll be first bottom boy it's taken anywhere from two to four days, generally, to gain a thousand subs, so at most we're probably a few weeks away. Do I think Steelers are going 16-0? Probably not after they almost lost to the Cowboys. I mean, that was one of those games where the Steelers, they usually just lose it, and they should have, to be quite honest. They were like a lucky, stupid situation with a field goal, and... A lucky no call and an interception, and a lucky, uh, what was it? I think it was a pass interference or a holding call on a Roethlisberger fumble. Like, there's a bunch of stuff they lucked out on. They should have lost. But I don't think that says anything about their ability to beat the better teams. They just do that, and it's not good. Okay. I should have. Dang it. So, the issue is, I didn't look at the date on that. And I now have to... Scroll through everything, because nothing's in order. So we're looking for royalty, probably number like three or four. Because we got to dismantle it. We wouldn't need to, but I don't think I have another female lion mounted anywhere. Only a few trophies to scroll through, so it's not a big deal. That should be it right there. Dismantle. Then we're going to do royalty. We want our dark brown from today. A full, basically, one and a half bigger than the blonde, so pretty good upgrade there. And we shall put this. I'll buy your lodge. Two dollars, take it or leave it. What's Patrick's thing? I only have three. The lookout. That's not it. Should be. Where am I going? Right here. Okay. And I think... Maybe I'll do that pose? I feel like he ne he has to be standing up. I really like that. But it just completely hides the female. That looks more like yawning than roaring to me. Yeah, I think we're going to go with uh, with that right there. So ideally then, if we can get another blonde female, I don't want to do two blonde females in this multi-mount anyway, but a blonde female with this would have like the best contrast. So that's probably what I want to do for that in the Trophy Lodge. But yeah, uh, not exactly what we came in here after. Like I was saying, I'm more focused on rare females for this, but that's really cool. Uh, dark brown, 47 mythical uh, lion. Both of my dark browns have been mythicals at the same lake. On my own map. None ever in multiplayer, so go figure. Why have I been summoned? Because you are a lucky male. Oh, you heard me saying lucky a bunch about the Cowboys game. Sorry. It was, it was just... Uh. A lot of luck. They... 
did not deserve to win that game, quite honestly. Uh, Tyrone, thanks for the super chat again, man. Wanted to give you this before the stream ends, but it was a great stream. Looking forward to the next one. Well, the blonde female. A very angry blonde female. The next stream will be Wednesday night. It's going to be in the Hunter Classic, but uh, Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll do a classic stream, so uh, yeah, be sure to check that out. But that is going to do it for the stream. We actually, at least sort of, accomplished one of the things that we set out to do. Got ourselves a rare lion for the lodge. I mean, it didn't really decrease the total of rare lions I still want to get. I still want to get two more rare females, but an upgrade. So we'll definitely take those. And the dark browns, they might be my favorite rare. Blondes were like... I had I really wanted to get one because I had a, a dark brown and an albino for a long time. But they just look so cool. I really like like the darker mane and just the darker fur in general. So yeah, it was definitely good. Um, waiting for uh, Twinkies super chat to come through. I guess I'll read it. It's the stream ending. Then dang, I missed the entire stream. Have a great rest of your day, though. You too, man. Uh, yeah, stream's ending. But as always, the um, vod will be available here as soon as YouTube processes it. So probably in the next couple hours. But yeah, while we're waiting for that to actually pop up on the screen. Thank you guys for hanging out. As always, I appreciate the support. <laughs> there it is. You guys are the best. And I will see you, I guess, in tomorrow's video. It's the real life fourth video of Archer Season. So, uh, hope to see you there. Bye! <laughs>